Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and today we're going to be having some fun, we're going to be brewing, we're going to be playing just some casual magic, try to test out a couple of different things in Historic, see how it goes. Um, a couple of videos today will be best of one with Strixhaven coming around the corner, we'll be doing a lot of best of three content, testing out a lot of decks there, including some budget decks. Um, but between now and then, I spent the weekend and week leading up to it, like hardcore spike mode, uh, preparing for the MIQ, which we did okay. Uh, batted 500, 3-3 record. Um, but what we're going to do today, we're going to play some Bruce. And up first, I have Is It Giants for Best of One Historic. So we don't really get um, a lot of giant support in Historic. Um, but what we kind of get is a, about like an additional ramp spell for this snow package. So think of it almost like the standard um, Is It Snow. Um, but what we're using is Cold Steel Heart, which allows us to add a mana of any color that we choose when it enters, and it is a snow artifact, so it helps our stuff like Frostbite. Um, we also have a little bit better burn in the terms of Lightning Strike, so think of this as almost like an Is It Burn style list um, with the giant tribal at, uh, staple on. So we have Bone Crusher Giant, a Tectonic Giant for card advantage. With the Cold Steel Heart, you can get this out on turn three, which really helps. Um, and then we have Quake Bringer on the top end that we can uh, basically ping your opponent from the graveyard or if it's in hand as well. Um, we have Battle of Frost and Fire, which is a one-sided board wipe in our deck. Uh, it also lets us set up our draw as well as draw some additional cards. We don't have too many cards with CMC 5 or greater. I think in Historic, especially Best of One, it is a fairly quick format, so you don't want to be you know, holding a lot of big things. Um, and then just a lot of removal, I think, we need, especially for best of one. Frostbite deals 2 to 3 damage with the snow cut lands, uh, shocks, as well as lightning strikes. I wanted our removal, as opposed to something like a braid, um, to go face as well. So if we want to be the more aggressor in the matchup, we can. Uh, we have Glimpse of Cosmo, which is basically anticipate from the hand, as well as the graveyard if we control a giant. Um, and then we also have Agar, the Freezing Flame. So any of our excess damage... Uh, to a creature or planeswalker, we get to draw a card. And the Royal Scions, one of my favorite planeswalkers ever. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't see too much play, but this gives us trample for some of our giants. Uh, so you can get around like Cat Oven. It also helps us loot. We can like bin a Quake Bringer, or, like meaningless cards. And also, like this is good in the graveyard as well. And the ultimate threatens your opponent. Because we are snow, we can play Faceless Havens, which do come in as uh, giants since they are shapeshifters. Um, so we'll try this out. We'll see how it goes. Um, Chandra was something I was considering as well. Let's go play. We're just going to go casual here. Let's try to jank some people out. I have this. I have Genesis Dragons. I have a blue-white mill deck. Um, so a couple fun decks today. We'll try them out. I, I think I want to do also... Selesnya Toski, like weenie, just one one, and then you just draw a bunch of cards. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, with Strixhaven, early access event should be on Wednesday. If you do have any deck lists you'd like to see, um, if you have any brews, drop a comment on YouTube or Twitch, and we can go from there. Do you need to turn on Cardboard Live? Forgot about that. This might just be draw, so we'll fire it up again. I posted a bunch of lists on my Aether Hub, so you can always check those out. Um, but if you are interested in any other decks, you can always let me know. All right. Minimal Hipster. Let's see what Minimal Hipster is all about. Uh, opponents first. I think we're gonna decide how we want to lead off. I'm probably gonna lead on the snow covered to hold up shock. Uh, we can go cold steel on two. There is the option to foretell this. We don't know what we're up against yet. Okay, so it's likely more control. Could be the Abzan Yorian. Actually, uh, there's no Yorian, so not necessarily Abzan Yorian. 
The deck's heavier on red, so I'm going to name red with Cold Steel Heart. Go turn three, Tech Giant. Because even if they target this, we get the value. Maybe Esper Control, or just like Black White Doom. Go, go, Giants! So we'll attack in first, get some card advantage. Yeah, so it was Esper. We got a reader. I think the one for one there is fine. I think we just want to keep putting out threats. If they tuck this with like Teferi, I can use Battle of Frost and Fire to kill it. Valky. Interesting. So they're like three color, maybe a four color. Splash red. Ah, the Valky release. That's fine. Because if they kill this, I just do this. I think we do this. Gotta take Tibbled off. They are gonna come with the Quakebringer. Kinda want to hit a land. I can play Tech Giant. Try to race them. They're probably just casting my Giant this turn. We're okay with the lightning strike. Just get this out. Interesting deck. So I think we're just going to try to race them. Um, so if we target them, we have to pay. So I think we're just going the card advantage route here. This is going to race us pretty quick, though. Because this absorbs a point of damage. What is this deck? It's like Esper Walkers. To be honest, I might just have to hit Quakebringer.
If they go after Royal Scions, it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go after this. Battle of Frost and Fire is kind of cool. Um, so like I can go face. Okay, so I think we're gonna do this. Glimpse here. Because they probably don't kill it with Redain. Because if I draw land, I can Frost and Fire Redain. This is also getting close to ultimating. Yeah, we definitely want land here. Frost and Fire is very good here if we can hit it. Doesn't do it. I will learn what nobody yet knows. So let's go. Here, let's exile to try to find a land. Issue is I can't... Oh, that's good if they block with Redain. So then I do... This... Auto pay... And then we probably just pull out this. Because now I get to ultimate this Royal Scions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so I can ultimate the Royal Scions and then kill both of these. We can hit them for seven here. I'm gonna deal damage to myself, so. Then I think we just wanna take them off walkers here. like this. If they kill Tectonic Giant, then I have the Frostbite. Just take a land here. Cool. So now just set up our mana for next turn. I think we're in a good spot. Hey, Chocoblob. 
Thank you, thank you. How's it going? We're uh, casual mode today. Testing out some giants. Managed to beat a shield. I think we just keep going with threats. Ryu. Um, still not enough. Kind of. Would rather not cast. Because like I draw cards off this next turn. So actually let's foretell this. We get the discount. Just in case they have a sweeper here. I'd rather not. Um, we can draw again. Faceless is nice. Nice. Well, this is our first game. Like, we're beating Esper, kind of Planeswalker heavy. We've kind of milled our graveyard a bit. They stole our Quakebringer. They're dead on the activation. Boom. Pretty sweet first game. Happy with how that went. We'll give these like two, three games each, see how they go. And then we'll switch it up between the different decks. Jacob, is the in-game audio okay volume? I think we want to get Tapland in first. Let's just double spell next turn if needed. Because ideally, I'd like to go Bone Crusher to cast. Okay, this is colorless. Colorless, we just want to throw down threats. I imagine this is probably a tough matchup. Or a slower mid range deck. So if they don't have sweepers, we might be able to, but with the black mana, that means they have extinction events. They have another ramp spell here. Yeah, so we can see Ugin next turn. Battle of Frost and Fire is actually not bad. We can kill the first Ugin, even if they sweep our board here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We get around Shadow's Verdict. Awesome here. I really like a land here. Perfect. Okay, so obviously these decks naturally have four Ugins in their hand once they ramp. Good first sign. I think we're going to go the card advantage route just because we can't really survive another. And that's not good. Um, to be honest, I need to do this. We need to find another threat. We aren't really going to survive double... Uh, Full sweepers on us. Losing both of these kind of hurts. Uh, 
Obviously, we draw this now. I think we just kill this. Like we're giving him the card advantage, but it's less pressure on our life total. Okay, faceless is decent. I don't think we want any of those. Faceless isn't even, because we're not getting through. I think we're just dead here. We'll fire up another one. This deck's not going to be multiple Ugins. The problem too is, oh well mind you, if we waited a turn, had we known they had that, we would have been able to sweep. But we're not really going to be in a spot regardless. Each of those Mind Stones cycle and the other one draws two cards. They're on a Luris game plan. So it's likely Auras. This hand doesn't really do much. Okay, we'll keep this hand. Let's put back... So I'm probably going to go Fajor to hold up the shock. You need to have an answer to the aura on too. Okay, so it's blue light auras. I think we just ramp here. Because if I draw an untapped land, then I can agar bolt them. Sweet. Wish this was Frostbite so we could have drawn a card. Trying to find a burn spell here. I think we do this on upkeep. My guess is they have a protection spell. So if they do, I want them to spend mana on their turn. Spell Pierce. So had we not glimpsed there, we would have been okay. Now we're probably dead. We needed to kill the... It's going to get too big at like 5 toughness. We're not playing squash in this list. I think it's largely pretty anemic. There's not it's not like standard where you have a lot of bone crush or um love struck beasts. Yeah, maybe we just I thought they had Karametra's blessing. I didn't think they'd be on spell pierce. Signed up. Double Bone Crusher into Tech Giant. Jord. Volatile for Jord. So we're going to respond to them paying the energy in case they have multiples. Let's just 
Let's kill this. It's teamer energy. So this is interesting because I can just set this up for the following turn. Or I could Bone Crusher Giant this turn. This gives me my second red. I think we do this. Wasn't expecting that, to be completely honest. If we had another red source, I could have double spelled them. I think we got too cute there. So they go to six here, seven, so I need another red source. I guess I should have left that. Perfect. So I guess I could Bone Crusher Giant here. No, I think we need to try to do this. Hopefully they don't have another Harness Lightning. Alright. Might be in this. Gains Hexproof on to turn. Um, I think I like all those. Because we draw those anyways. So I could Lightning Strike this. Um, I think we're just looting here. I lead the way, but my brother here. Mm, a quest of mystery. I think I'd rather have the removal here. We need to be somewhat of the control deck in this matchup. So they can put two counters on it. A lot of damage coming through. I do have lightning strike here. Um, so this, 
Oh, they're cats. Deal for we do hit our own royal scions. What was my strategy here? All right, let's see if we stabilized. We took out a lot of stuff, but we've gone through. It's not good. Do we have any more frost and fires? We have two. I think we need to dig for them. So I can bone crusher them. Because they can give this hex proof. See what we draw here. Let me synthesize the facts. So I can do one, two, three, play bone crusher. When they go to the pump, I can stomp it. It's an interesting match. Just hope they don't have invigorating. Can't do anything there. Twelve. All right. Well, uh, we got our face stomped in there. That stupid long tusk cub did us in. Overall, interesting deck. We played against a bunch of brews as well, so kind of hard to see. We lost to Auras, but they had the spell pierce there. We couldn't really play around that. Um, we had try to kill there um some interesting lines i think we do want a little bit more density in terms of our threats like another giant would be nice but we can wrap this one up